uh, what else do we have? COP28 is uh, just is the gift that keeps on giving. You keep, you keep getting uh, different stories. The big thing in COP28 uh, is that the uh, Sultan Al-Jaber, who I guess is a doctor or is, is a PhD, who is the president of COP28, he is part of the uh, United Arab Emirates um, uh, hosting committee. Uh, he is the president of that hosting committee for uh, the, uh, the, uh, the event. He is also the CEO of the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company and the United Arab Emirates Environment Minister. <laughs> talk about conflicts of, uh, talk about conflicts of interest, right? So here he is hosting COP28, in which the Secretary General of the UN says we need to phase out or, uh, uh, fossil fuels now. The host is the CEO of uh, a national oil company and also the environment minister. Uh, it just, it just, it couldn't get any more comical than this and uh, ridiculous and evil. And I, I, I think maybe what he and the oil companies are all there as well. Maybe we'll learn from this is you can't appease the, the nutcases, but they probably won't learn anything from it. Anyway, this uh, Dr. Sultan al Jabal um, basically announced uh, in a speech uh, to the conference says, and I quote, there is no science out there or no scenario out there that says the phase out of fossil fuels is what's going to achieve 1.5. That's the 1.5 centigrade uh, warming. Uh, less than that is, is, is the goal. Uh, and then he says, unless you want to take the world back into the caves. <laughs> now, of course, he's absolutely right. Of course, yeah. What's he doing hosting COP28 then? And, 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 and of course, the comments just, you know, made people like Al Gore just apoplectic. Al Gore was like, uh, you know, it, 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 quote Al Gore, he should not be taken seriously. He's protecting his profits and placing them in a higher priority than the survival of human civilization. No, quite the opposite. Uh, you, Al Gore, by ending use of fossil fuel are the risk to human civilization, not the Dubai National Oil Company, which is keeping civilization afloat right now. Uh, 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 yeah, so uh, Al Gore is flipping out. The UN is flipping out. Uh, generally, uh, uh, all COP28 is there to do is to show how absurd and ridiculous the environmentalist agenda is, uh, but how it has co-opted all the big money in the world. Everybody has to go. Everybody schmoozes. Everybody flies in there with their uh, 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 fossil fuel fueled uh, 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 corporate jets, and um, generally. It is a, uh, you know, just a, 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 a ridiculous, uh, a, you know, a, a ridiculous, um, the whole thing is a ridiculous exercise. Uh, but, it, 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 you know, it's an exercise and uh, the fanfare that uh, it seems that anybody who wants to show that they care, show that they're virtuous, show that they care about the climate and they care about the planet has to attend. But the idea that uh, the United Arab Emirates is actually hosting this event and that El Jabao, um, you know, is, is, the, is, is the, the, the head of this thing is, it just shows you how ridiculous it is. Uh, it, you know, uh, I think at a news conference on Monday, I guess today, uh, Al Jabao said he was quite surprised at the criticism, which he blasted as, quote, constant and repeated attempts to undermine the work of COP28 presidency, that's him, and the attempts to undermine the message, we keep repeating that we respect the science. <laughs> well, if you respect the science, then you should have folded COP28 a long time ago, right? All right, um, uh, he is uh, surprised. Um, uh, one, uh, I guess, positive, kind of positive thing that uh, was agreed upon in COP28. I don't know if it agreed upon, pledged. I don't know what the pledges means. They're probably worthless. But 22 countries pledged to triple nuclear capacity um, uh, during COP28. Uh, you know, I, I think that's all meaningless. It includes France. Uh, France is unlikely to triple their capacity. They're already 
have a significant uh, uh, amount of overwhelming majority of the electricity produced by nuclear. Maybe they want to do more and export it out to the rest of Europe, which is going to be hungry, hungry for electricity. Given uh, when the sun doesn't shine, I don't know. But Britain, France, and the United States, it doesn't, I don't think the United States is anywhere close to tripling their, uh, their uh, nuclear capacity by 2050. You would have to have projects in, in the pipeline right now to get them online by 2050, and it's just, it's just not happening. Anyway, it makes for a good headline.